welcome to the Huawei exhibition booth. So this year we show our uh, vision and the uh, cutting edge solutions and uh, following get to the intelligent world. For me, as a, as a person with a technical background, is also impressive is that wherever I was looking around, there were things of great relevance to the innovation and to the technology development that we are needing in our modern society. There are some really exciting technologies coming forward in the future. And the second is the efforts that uh, Huawei and other companies are putting into the environmental impact of the telecommunications industry. Uh, the first one important is the 5G become a real success and uh, you know more than 240 5G commercial networks has been deployed uh, 900 million users uh, in just uh, uh, less than three years period. It's amazing uh, figures. And the people and also the company realize 5G is really a nice project can help their digitalizations and bring business success to them. The faster speed, the better user experience, the, the lower latencies, but also the industry start to realize a 5G plus the 5.5G uh, is going to be an excellent tool for them. Uh, to improve the efficiency. One of the most interesting parts is the one related with 5.5G. And, and I think so because this is what might be coming in two, three years, more or less. This is expected to be deployed in the year 2025. And it's quite interesting, the different applications. I hope that we can use properly 5G because 5G is fantastic, is, is a, you know, is, um, it, it opens a world of opportunities, but the most interesting part of it is that we, we need to learn how to use it properly. Um, as part of Cambridge Wireless, as I say, we run special projects, and one of our projects is sponsored by Huawei, and this is a private 5G testbed that we have running in Cambridge. And this is where we get small companies into the testbed to see how 5G can add real value to their business and this isn't just from a technical perspective it's from a business model and a proof of value perspective as well so it's really looking at how 5G can make a huge difference to these smaller companies. This year we not only show our current capabilities and the solutions and also we show our future the solutions for examples like the 5.5G arrow including the wireless 5.5G, the fixed F 5.5G, Net 5.5G, also the future architectures, the autonomous driving network. And also our, our visions on the 6G around the 2030. 5G, like other advanced technologies, um, is key to unleash the power that ICT has to help uh, protecting the environment. Um, women uh, in particular have been very active across several uh, domains, especially domains in which um, there is a, a, a stronger sense of empathy towards uh, the protection of where we live in. And whether or not it's a gender issue, I think it's very important to take the opportunity that these new technologies are bringing up. Actually, we think the woman is very important and, and is a cornerstone of the digital, digital age. So we did a lot. We have a women in tech initiatives. And for example, in Ireland, we provide the Tech for Hall scholarships to the students, girl students in, on STEM. And in Africa, in Ghana, we work together with local government to provide the ICT trainings to 30,000 Ghana girl students. And in Europe, we also have a Europe Leadership Academy, and we gathering the, the participants from different European countries. The young generation is a future and is a foundation of the digital world. And also, we have a commitment. We will invest 150 million dollars before 2026 
to on this talent development. Uh, we need to empower people essentially and it's only possible if we can all access services that are nowadays and more and more in the future offered only via digital means and digital platforms. So I really think that we are responsible to educate younger and older generations to make sure that no one is left behind.